Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you all of the pins that my husband has made for us. Me, my kids, and him. And I think he did a really good job on these. And I'll show you the bottle cap ones first. These ones are just from a bottle cap that um we put a picture in. The pictures, like the Dragon Ball pictures, are from the Dragon Ball Super Card game. And we just stuck a tack through and then the picture and then resin. You get to you, it's a lot more freedom because then you can choose exactly what picture you want and you can choose characters that aren't exactly everywhere like I wanted a Tapion pin, he's not exactly everyone everywhere. I wanted Aruka, he's not exactly everywhere. And then we did some LOL ones because LOL pins are, there's only one LOL pin and it is extremely hard to find. So we used the checklist for the LOL pins, the cards for the Dragon Ball Z, and then there was a couple that we printed off the computer that darkened after putting it in the resin because it got wet. But, we could, yeah, we even got the Supreme Kai. And these ones are just hard resin. Like, they were just resin in a mold with the picture. So there's no back to this, but it is nice and hard. So those are pretty cool. There's the time ring. And then some of them are with um, real bottle caps and then you can buy crafting um, bottle caps at the craft store and with these ones we just put nail polish down and then the picture and then we can put resin over it so that's why those are nice and glittery so I think they look pretty cool. You could also add glitter to the resin, which we haven't tried yet, but we have the glitter. We plan to do it. We are just in the process of moving. And this one is, let's see if we can get the pattern, is a mold that was done from a Disney pin that was resined. So you can see all the patterns that was left from the Disney pin. And for the LOL ones, it is just a some melted metal with the tack in it with nail polish, the pictures, and then resin over it. And these are really nice. My daughters really like having the little dolls on there. And then this one right here is my favorite pin ever. My husband was pouring the metal and it just so happened to kind of come out heart-shaped. So he um, smoothed it out to make it look like a heart and it is perfect. I love it because he, he made it for me and it just looks amazing and he is pretty amazing himself. So these are all these pins. I really, really, really enjoy them. I plan on making more. My daughters really like them. Like. All of these right here are hers, minus Jiren. But like, she claimed all those. My other daughter claimed all of these. These ones are just bigger ones that are thicker and still hard, but they have two pin backs. And those are from the big surprise scratch off thing. So I think it's a nice fun way. We don't plan on selling them or anything currently maybe someday but right now it is just for fun so there they are let me know which ones you would what, what you guys think about these if you think it's a cool idea if you oh yeah we use some of the holographic cards like the shiny ones So they're still nice and shiny in the background. They look pretty 
Awesome. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Give this video a like. Comment and tell my husband he did a fantastic job. And that he is the best husband ever. Thank you guys. Bye.